Now that the kids are back in school, we're getting two craft ideas today that can help the year get started off right. Amy Latta has a fabric magnet and a cute bow to show off this morning for getting crafty. Amy, good to see you. Let's start with the magnet. Walk us through what we need, how we do it. I'd love to. So one of the things that kids get to personalize at school is their locker. So these little magnets are a fun thing that they can create with any kind of fabric or design that they want. And then they can personalize their locker and it'll just make them smile in between classes. And of course, this is something that we can do for our homes and our fridges as well. So the first thing that we're going to need to create this is these little glass cabs, which are just little domed pieces of glass with a flat back that you can find on Amazon or at the craft store. You'll need scraps of fabric. And this can be, you know, this is the fun part because I like to use ones that have little dogs on them and all kinds of flowers. You can use fabric that has words or a favorite character, um, favorite colors, designs, anything that you might have. And you need so little of it that any kind of scraps that you have laying around will work just fine. You'll want a pen or a pencil, scissors, and then you're going to need some decoupage formula. So this is called Maker's Magic. You can also use Mod Podge, um, but it's a decoupage formula that acts like a glue. And you'll need a magnet. So all we're doing is we're taking the fabric and you're going to place the clear cab on top and center it so that you see exactly what you want on your magnet. So for mine, I'm choosing this daisy, but whatever it is, whether it's the puppy dog's face or the paw print, you're going to put it on top and then you'll take a pen, a pencil, a marker, whatever you have, and just trace around that. Then use your scissors to cut out that circle of fabric. Then all we do is take a paintbrush, dip it into the decoupage formula, paint a little bit on the back, put our fabric circle on, and then we have our little magnet. Then when it's dry, you just glue a magnet onto the back. You can use magnet tape or the little round magnets, whatever you can find, and it's ready to personalize that locker. That is adorable. And now you have adorable bows. Now, picture day is coming up for the little girls. It is. And these can also double as a bow tie. I actually made them two weeks ago for National Bow Tie Day, which was back in August. Um, but you can use these um, in hair. You can even put them on your pet's collar if you want to make a pet version too. But all you need is felt, scissors, hot glue, and a pin or a clip. So you're going to take felt in any colors that you want and all you need to do is cut two rectangles. The bigger one is going to be four inches by two and a half inches. And the smaller one is also two and a half inches by seven eighths of an inch. And what you're doing is taking this big rectangle and we're just going to crunch it in the middle, squeeze it a little. And that's what creates the basic bow shape. We're going to use hot glue and just put a little bit down in those folds to hold it together in this shape. Then this smaller rectangle wraps right around the center. It's going to overlap a little bit in the back and we're going to glue that in place. And then we have our cute little felt bow. Once the bow is created, you're going to choose whatever you want to put on the back. So you can use a little bar pin, which would allow you to clip it onto a shirt. You can use a clip, which will let you use it in the hair. You can also use a barrette, a bobby pin, anything that you like. And then that piece of hardware is what's going to let you wear it or display it in any way that you like. But you can use any colors of felt. You saw I've got one here with two different shades of pink. They also make patterned felt. You can add glitter. You can jazz it all up any way that you like. And then it's ready for picture day. Super adorable, Amy Latta Creations for more ideas and for these ideas that you saw today. Thank you, good to see you. Always good to see you too. There's more to come in our second half hour. Stay with us, we'll be right back.